Colon cancer is a common and serious cancer that's preventable through screening. Um, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommends uh, routine screening in patients between ages 50 and 75. Um, and as a result, most large healthcare organizations in the United States have quality systems in place to encourage screening in patients between ages 50 and 75. But we know that the benefit of screening is not just determined by age, it's also determined by health status, particularly in, in older patients. Um, and so what we wanted to find out was whether or not the use of a, an age cutoff in the quality measure um, was associated with inappropriate use of screening or screening that was inconsistent with benefit, particularly in older patients. We um, utilize data from the Veterans Affairs Healthcare System, or VA Healthcare System. Um, and uh, VA is the uh, largest integrated healthcare system in the United States. Um, it serves uh, nearly uh, 9 million veterans or people who previously served in the U.S. military. Um, and um, the VA um, has a very robust quality improvement system in place. So we used VA data to look at this question. And what we did is we identified people who had a primary care visit in 2010 where they were due for colon cancer screening. And then we uh, looked to see what proportion of them got screened within the two years after that, uh, that visit. Um, and then we uh, stratified these results by age and health status. And what we found was that screening rates were relatively stable between ages 50 and 75. Um, but then after 75, screening rates dropped off abruptly, um, which is consistent with uh, the, uh, the cutoff of the quality measure. Um, and um, notably, um, an individual who was 75 years of age and was in poor health, in whom screening is unlikely to be a benefit, was about twice as likely to be screened as an individual who was 76 years of age and in good health. What we concluded is that the way that quality measures are specified or defined has very important impl implications for how care is actually delivered. Um, and in the case of the colon cancer screening measure, um, by focusing on age alone, um, we are not screening everyone who's likely to benefit. Um, and some people who are not likely to benefit are being screened unnecessarily, like those who have serious health problems. And if the system focused on age and health status rather than age alone, we'd have better health outcomes. Colon cancer is a, uh, is a common and serious cancer, and we know that screening for colon cancer can reduce both, both illness and death from colon cancer. Um, and you know, since colon cancer screening has been introduced, um, we've, seen a, we've seen a substantial decline in, in colon, cancer, colon cancer rates. Um, so, so screening clearly works, um, and the key thing is that we're really screening the people who are likely to benefit. Um, and we're not screening the people that are unlikely to benefit. Um, and uh, so I think uh, uh, you know, we need to be um, more thoughtful about the way that we design these measures. Um, and, I th and this is something that people are, are, are considering you know, um, now as well. Um, and there's a lot of work being done in this area. Um, but this is another uh, um, a piece of evidence that sort of adds to what we know on this topic.